You can absolutely drink all the mixed juices you want and still unlock the Pure Wall Memorial Cup achievement. At least, as long as they're painkillers. It's probably safe to say that all the other juices are exempt from this as well, but you know, you're on your own for that one. Use your own discretion and drink responsibly. I am not willing to do another run of each of the individual juices to test. That would just be crazy. Well, here I am doing an individual run of each of the individual juices to test. I'm Wes from Recommended Playing. This is Rumor Wrecker Redo, hopefully the last one I ever have to make. Past Wes had some flawed logic in his testing of the original mixed juices for Pure Wall Memorial Cup. First, I should have just made all nine juices and slurped them up before the timer ended. So that's what we're gonna do this time. This is one more time through Pure Wall Memorial Cup for me. Brained spanking new profile. This is a fresh chance at trophies. This time I'm starting from a level 1 Frank directly into 72 hour mode to speed this up. Dead Rising 2 off the records intro is actually super long. First it's Frank's exclusive Terror is Reality event. This is pretty long. Followed by a needlessly lengthy unskippable photography tutorial and finally the escape sequence. Now we can start the game and it's exclusively orange juice to heal to ensure Pure Wall Memorial Cup will unlock. The milk here is a trap. Don't fall for it. It's immediately off to Roy's Mart to rescue Denise. The looters are a bit scary at level 1, but nothing a dead rising expert like myself can't handle. Now there's absolutely nothing to do until the first set of cases. I'm off to the food court to start the leveling glitch. Maybe I'll bring Denise with me and we can quickly showcase the easy way to do the Alpha vs Omega achievement and she's dead. Rest in peace that plan. In the food court, you can grab unlimited bottles of vodka from the bar in Wild West Grill House. After grabbing lots of vodka, you'll start to despawn them and get credit for completing a carnival game. This gives you 1000 pp a pop. Don't ask why. I don't really know or care about the specifics. I just know that it works. Anyways, we're gonna spend our time ripping vodka off the shelf until we have to return to the safe house. I opted to go the long way around for the sports fan outfit this time. Working around to grab the helmet, then the clothing, and finally double back to sport trance for the cleats. We'll get the face paint after the first cases. Of course I managed to snag a bunch of the security box keys while I did this, since one million dollars is required. The first Zombrex dose later and some more waiting around and it's off to see Becky at the hotel. This is another quick mission, it's just a trip down to the arena. Absolutely grab this first key, it's for a Zombrex. At the arena we're skipping that cutscene this time, I'm on a deadline. Now double back to the safe house. On the way, you should hop the lights at Benny Jack's Barbecue Shack to get the final piece of the sports fan outfit. That immediate speed increase is palpable. Now just get back into Royal Flush Plaza and back to the safe house. Nothing else matters besides cases and we have a while to wait. Time to kill more time at Wild West Grill House grabbing vodka for PP gains. The case finally turns red and it's time to return to the safe house. This is about 14 levels worth of vodka later. There's no better way to kill time in Dead Rising 2 off the record. Off to fight Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, a couple of detours for combo weapons and some cash via hackers and we're off to Uranus Zone. I took a quick detour into the Atlantica for the key near the statue, this is absolutely worthwhile, it's for a Zombrex. In the Uranus Zone it's just a quick trip to the bank for lots of cash and Zombrex, more than enough to get us through 72 hour mode. Time to fight Brandon, easy peasy even at a relatively low level. This is just a matter of baiting him out from the stalls and taking a single swing. OTR's damage throttling is super annoying, especially on replays. On the way out, smash the case for 25 grand. This is Brandon's payout from TK at the start of the game and we're 34,000 off the million. The next case starts immediately so it's back to the safe house. Now it's time to head to the underground. I opted to head through the Yucatan this time to grab the LMG. Ted and Snowflake are here but I've got bigger fish to fry. See ya! Just straight down to the underground. The photo section sucks. Skipped. Now it's just a beeline to the end of the train and we're done that section. One simple quick detour left for another Zombrex. I can't help myself, I need to grab this one every single time. Now we've done everything for a while so it's back to Wild West Grill House for more power leveling. Once I hit level 37 I had to dose Frank with a Zombrex, then the grind continues. At level 42 I got bored and didn't feel like continuing to ruin my PS4 controller's circle button. We're more than high enough level at this point. Back to the safe house to wait for case 4-1. Run for the money is simple, you just have to remember that you're only using orange juice to heal. Collecting the cash reserves from the vaults will easily push us to 1 million dollars. 
Once all three casinos are dealt with, it's off to the Atlantica. This time I opted to just shoot it with the LMG. I didn't feel like dealing with the soldiers. I took Lynette to the shortcut so I had it unlocked, but it's unlikely I'll bother using it. Now it's time for even more waiting around. This time it's waiting on the lights near Benny Jack's barbecue shack. Once you get the call about Rebecca, just jump down into the restaurant and you'll get the cutscene. Oh no, we have to hurry and gather a million dollars. Well, that's done and done. Waiting for Crystal and Amber is brutal, I'm not gonna lie. But it's time for a change of venue. Head to the Yucatan Casino to grab a new LMG, and we're waiting in the restrooms. Frank will need a Zombrex dose at some point. Now it's time to move on to Shoal Nightclub. At the reception desk, grabbing an extra shotgun seemed pragmatic. Finally, one million dollars down and it's time to defeat the sisters. One LMG and shotgun later and we're done. Once again, TK's copter is available immediately. A quick trip back to Royal Flush Plaza for a toy spitball gun and then it's off to the hotel. Beat up the goons and then take on the helicopter with a literal toy. Back in the safe house now, Pure Wall Memorial Cup is in the bag. I've healed exclusively using orange juice despite grabbing literal truckloads of vodka off the shelf. But now it's time for something different. We're going to make every mixed juice in the game. I could tell you how to do that here, or you could just watch my Dead Rising 2 off the record juice compendium guide. Welcome to filthy capitalist Wes. Nine mixed juices made, and it's time for the final waiting period. A Zombrex dose to get through the next two hours, and then we're off to Royal Flush Plaza's rooftop to wait out the last two hours. Time to chug all nine juices. The painkiller, which we know is allowed from the last rumor wrecker, so it's a little redundant. But we've got the Nectar, Quick Step, Randomizer, Repulse, Spitfire, Untouchable, Zombate, and Energizer all consumed. See? It's all there in that yellow text in the bottom right. One last waiting around period now. The only food I've consumed are the nine mixed juices and orange juice. Let's see. The military arrives. The suspense is just killing me. Pure Wall Memorial Cup is officially unlocked. Rumor status, wrecked. You can absolutely consume whatever mixed juices you want during a Pure Wall Memorial Cup attempt. My conclusions from the original rumor wrecker ring true, however. Just stick with orange juice. You should tie Pure Wall Memorial Cup with Alpha vs Omega for trophy hunting, and use mostly orange juice because it's versatile. You can use OJ to heal both yourself and Denise. Mixed juices can only be used on Frank, and really, OTR is so easy that you don't really need to bother using them. But if you want to use mixed juices, there's your answer. Everything's on the table. Chug as many mixed juices as you want. Thanks for watching everyone, a special shout out to my Patreon supporters, your support goes a long way with helping the channel out. We're currently on a campaign to reach 1000 supporters on Patreon and every single dollar adds up. Otherwise you can leave a super thanks on this or any one of my videos, I'm not picky. You can also become a channel member for some fun little emotes and a special badge during streams. Heck, even subscribing to YouTube Premium helps me out and it gives you an ad free viewing experience, that's a win win. If you like the Dead Rising content, you can check out the Dead Rising playlist. This features multiple video guides on how to rescue all the survivors, and how to get all the achievements for the Dead Rising series. It's hours of fun for the whole family. You can also check out the Rumor Wrecker playlist if you're so inclined. And you should also like and subscribe for more Dead Rising content. Thank you for watching.